one. All right, cool. Well, the live stream's back from the dead. What are we doing? Oh, it's resuming it, which is a problem. I was hoping it wouldn't. Well, it, it, it did. Well, it seems so. Rip. Which is a shame because I've renamed it. Oh, or not. Apparently, yeah. Uh, it's all been undone. Oh, okay. No wonder. Okay, cool. No. No? Yeah, we could. I uh, did start a new live stream and all of that. Alright, so now we're ready to connect something. Are you going to continue Fallout? I'm just going to. Fucking kid. Are you sure I can't move kids to like the wasteland? <laughs> no. Nothing you can do with them. You can't interact with children. Well, I guess I'll just leave those two to flirt for a while, I suppose. The child to watch. Oh, wait. Sarah, Sarah, don't talk to Patrick. He's your son. No. No. <laughs> Sarah. He's dating his son specifically and then uh, breeding with it. Don't! Yeah. Don't! <laughs> That's your son, Sarah! <laughs> oh, she's a cyborg anyway. She's not, she just has a robot suit. Stop <laughs> it! Come on. Fallout. It's... It encourages it. It doesn't just allow it, it encourages it. Why are we showing this again? Last time it failed. Yeah, well, I'm hoping I won't fail this time. Yeah, there we go. But we probably won't have any sound, but that's okay. We're not gonna miss it. Look at him! He, all he's saying is nothing better than spending time with family. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, like, <laughs> nothing like hanging out at home with my family. <laughs> oh, okay. Hopefully they won't breathe then. Please, please, please. Because I mean, that means nice the dialogue's time. acknowledging it. Just have a f nice time, but not too much of a nice time. <laughs> Just breed so that I won't. Oh, this person's gonna be the future. <laughs> this <laughs> ugly ass kid is gonna be our future. Oh my god. Here's the funny thing. How do these kid auto kids automatically get born as kids? And how do they automatically get born with cloves and everything? It's just uh, convenient. It's a result of inbreeding. That's also true. Uh... Is it? No. <laughs> I think the game catches inbreeding and prevents it, but it, the animations on the screen don't um, beg to differ. <laughs> No one seems to be having happy fun times just yet. Which is to say, they're not having, they're not doing any good there. Um, you should really probably just be moving them. Because they're not going to breed. I guess so. What I wanted was so that, like, Patrick could try and talk to the stripper. And Timothy to talk to the cyborg. <laughs> but <laughs> it didn't work out. Can I, like, drag them away? Can I, like, you can't control who they talk to, no. <laughs> Annoying. Oh, Those well. two are already getting along, so, yeah. I'll just move her back then. Actually, no. I'll keep her there because I kind of want her to breed because she's the highest level and she has the best like expertise. Fair enough. I just need to find someone who's cool to do it. Um. Gave him a cat, I see. Yeah. He is I mean, lonely. He's in his own little cubicle. Yeah, it probably does help for happiness. But um, mostly you just use them for people that you send out on expeditions. Mm. You can see whenever you move the phone, because it, uh, it tilts the screen. I just got a, a flash flash, like a buzz buzz. What does that mean? Probably notifications. They should be hidden, because uh, they're projecting <coughs> and all of that. Which they 
better be kidding. Come on, guys, do your business. They're not even dancing yet. <coughs> Listen, Robo Girl, he's got a cat. <laughs> he's got a cat. There's no reason to date someone you know. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look at that cat being all cute. Are you sure you don't want him? <laughs> you just opened Siri by saying, hey Siri. Oh no, how did I say hey Siri? <laughs> I just heard it. I heard what I don't want to hear. Oh. Oh my god, now they're just flirting with you. They're just dancing, randomly. I Hotel mean, Trivago. <laughs> that is the best stripper name, I have to say. Ah! <laughs> Oh, there's been a red does anyone have in does anyone have a weapon in here? The kid's in there. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Do you have a weapon? Yeah, he has a weapon. Go up. Kill the roaches. Do you have a weapon? Of course, she has a weapon. Get up. <laughs> Fight the fucking oh, beast. Oh, was saying that that was the right room to put her in. By the way, you just tapped. Yeah, tapped to collect it before, so you don't have to go in the menus later. There should be enough guns for two red roaches. Six, another. Is it gonna be more red roaches? Probably. Yes, it is. Oh, that was easy. Why? Oh, she had a gun. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> okay, one of them's impregnated now, so that means things have happened. Yep, now that will send them right back to work. You've had your fun. She doesn't need to wear the nightwear anymore, because right now this chick needs to wear the nightwear. Kid, don't go here! This is where the action happens! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kid! That is supposed to be a living room after all. <laughs> that was sweet one. <clears throat> Poor audience of the live stream has to witness me messing with the audio settings live. <laughs> I'm sure there was probably some parts where it wasn't recording anything. Kid, get out of my office, you abortion. Just screw each other already. I'm kind of getting bored at the moment. That ain't right. There needs to be someone extra in there to help with man the power. That guy's supposed to be in cooking. Is that chick supposed to be in the cooking? Yeah, she is. Okay. They all have guns. I'm sure they can handle this. <laughs> Good. Hey, Daroni, you still there? No. Oh, okay. That's a shame. But I have something to offer to you if you give me a moment to get do you remember using Cloud9 last year? Or were you a part of that? What? I'm guessing, I'll take that as a no then. Regardless, it's not too important that you understand if, um, what it is, but um... You're cutting out a bit. I can't oh. hear you. Okay. Well, do you know what me and Duncan made in uh, CSA last year? Or oh, DST even. What? Okay, you're really cutting out. Like you're, it's it's weird. Hmm. You like kind of overlapping yourself. Oh, okay, that's a bit weird. It's kind of like um, if you use your arrow keys while watching a YouTube video. How strange. I guess that's internet problems. Oh, 
Oh well, hopefully it'll get better. Is she pregnant yet? No, they're not. Uh, I wish I can speed them. I wish I can rush it. <laughs> Anyway, I'll start up a web server in a second, and then uh, you can play Minesweeper on there instead. I think the find is a better experience. Exclusive Minesweeper? Oh yes, boy. Yes, highly exclusive. Duncan and I um, made this website last year. You'll understand why once it's uh, running. I want more people to show up already. If I seem drunk, it's only because you're so intoxicating. That doesn't sound That's very terrible. terrible. Honestly. <laughs> you know, um, if we were to think about it for a second, that sounds kind of awful, actually. They're dancing. Good, good, good. Well, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Would that actually work if we tried to pick up someone like that? Oh my god. Only one way to find out. No, don't. You're intoxicating. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think so. There are two Sandras and I hate that. Why can't I rename them? Oh, we can? <gasps> That's good. It is time to shine. What should I name them? What do they have a Hotel Trivago? Where? Where? Oh, level up. Okay. Alright. Open that up. Do I have a room? Do I want to? Yeah, trust me, you do. I, the thing is, I don't trust you. Oh, come on. Rolling on the floor laughing emoji diff... Right. Hmm... Oh, oh dear. That's right. It's a completely working copy of Windows 98. Oh, oh dear. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it was good fun to make this. It's the the Minesweeper window doesn't even s stretch properly. No. Why? It's because it's an iframe. Huh. <laughs> I didn't actually make Minesweeper. I made it. I only made the desktop and the start menu. This mine sweeper runs. Can I see? Wait a minute. That can't be right. What? Look at that. I've been cheated out of a win here. What do you mean? Are you By just showing that on the live stream? Yes, I am. And, uh, no, <laughs> and at the same time. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Come on, look at this, uh, Darun. Tell me that that can't be right. It's counting one when there's two mines there. What the fuck? That is what? strange. I can't trust it. Well, it's a Computer, you can't trust computers, they're gonna take over the world as their first step. You know it. <laughs> they're they're learning to lie. There's, there's no way that was uh, my mistake there, that's, that's bizarre. I'm very confuddled.
going to rename Howard Adams to Ben Lamb. It's because I'm an option there. Eh? I'm so happy I figured it out. Beb. <laughs> <laughs> ben Lamb. There's not just one person in my vault called Disco Party. <laughs> who? I have no idea who. What's in it? Well, that's no good. I'll send Samuel up. Is there such thing to have a charisma of zero? I guess that's possible. Yes. <laughs> For example, if you don't speak. <laughs> if you're all good old whiz. I'm actually pretty stumped by this game of Minesweeper, actually. Stumped? Yeah. I don't see any openings. Uh-oh. There's too much uncertainty everywhere. Minesweeper is not a game for the faint of heart. <laughs> it's very intense. Kid, grow up already. I want a radio station room. I guess I'm just gonna have to take a guess and hope for the best. Pretty much. Yeah. Or you can like, if you really want to, if you really want to try hard, you have to algebraically think all of the possibilities, and there will be a point you have to choose the best possible outcome. Yeah. Basically, you look at the numbers and you choose the. Choose the block with the lowest probability of being a mine. Yeah, I just had to do that. <laughs> I didn't like it. Sometimes the numbers themselves, like, being relative to the other, you can tell if a certain block's a mine or not. Hmm. I don't understand how my people are so incompetent that they just cause fires or summon roaches wherever they go. It's just the way it is. It's called natural selection. <laughs> yes. I'm probably stumped again, but I did make a decent bit of progress. It's just I uh, didn't really open up enough area to be able to be sure about the rest of it. Timmy, get out of the... There's only four mines left though, and let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven unmarked areas. There's a one in three chance, or slightly under, of me getting it, of getting unlucky. This game of Minesweeper is actually buggy. Because it's happened again. It counts two, but it's actually three. That's a shame. I used to love this thing. Superheroes, Spider-Man, alignment and good, gender male, 1.78 meters, hometown USA, intelligence 4, strength 4, I this guy's 4, wolf, <laughs> wolf, alignment, gender, 
<laughs> and let's see six. Thor, <laughs> Thor, <laughs> alignment good. Hometown Norway, energy projection six. I'm not reading through all these at once because this is so stupid. Captain, <laughs> I can't read this. Hometown EU. What does it mean by EU? What? It means Hulk of course. <laughs> what kind of image is that? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> MS Paint. The gods of MS Paint have spoken. <coughs> Excuse me while I die. His name is Iro. <coughs> I R O R. How do you pronounce that? Iro. 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 That's my best guess. Iro. I like Error. how his skin looks vaguely <laughs> Mexican. It's beautiful. It looks like a potato. I love it. I, I think that's the type of skin tone, barely Mexican. <laughs> you go into a you go into a tanning salon and you get a uh, spray on tan, and that's that's name of it. Yeah, the name Mexican. is barely Mexican. I wouldn't mind that. It's even Mexican specifically. It's too perfect, really. That's a joke for you New Zealanders out there. Gloria Vale. <laughs> you know, Gloria Vale. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that joke, though. Where should move her? Yeah, there. What's been an expansion on that ship? <coughs> so what do I need more? Just making a highlight out of that. Uh, yeah. So it'll generate its own video, which is nice. So, oh well. Crap, we need to upgrade that ship. Oh well. Anyway, it's time to switch to the switch if you don't mind missing. Crap, I need to upgrade that thing though. <laughs> Well, we unplugged the Because the power anyway. station and there's a power generator. Bye. <laughs> what should we be playing, though? Um, you're acting like you don't even know what the plan is, just I was discussing it this morning. I know, but which game do we play first? I don't know, we'll just go through the list. Okay. Plugging in takes a moment, is the thing. Yeah. broken the sound's going to be today. <sighs> well, Breath of the Wild's already in there. Okay, we'll do that first. But let's not do Fortnite. <laughs> Fuck Fortnite. Fair enough. Delete that shit. I might get around to it. At the moment it's okay. Considering how convenient it is to play it on here, I might as well just have it. Um, <laughs> Installing a shitty launcher for it on the desktop. <laughs> <laughs> we 
shouldn't be able to hear it so well because it'll feed back into the mic. Yeah, it will. But, no, in fact, I'll probably just mute it. Really? Yeah. They can still hear it. But, uh, okay. I mean, the, the good old star means I've actually beat Ganon, so yay for me. It only took like three weeks or so. I like that little bit, that little blue bit blocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, something has to block the way. Yes, my wonderful stream <laughs> It's so glorious. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all perfect. That was only just because, that was only doing it on the first time I opened those ears. Um, <laughs> going to be annoyed by the that one, I bet. Yeah, ah well, I'll get it out of the way. <laughs> and I mean, we don't even have to look at this thing anyway, we can just watch it directly and talk. Oh, yeah. I'm just showing how uh, I'm doing in this. As for our games, I'd like to have a person who would finish the play, but yeah, it's a good idea, isn't it? Oh, yep. Anyway, we're about to the new Fallout 76. Yes. I know it is, even though you know nothing about the game itself. No, all I know is that it involves a new Fallout. Setting of the four games, yes. But this one is set in seventeen seventy six, which doesn't make any sense. No That's way. what I've heard people complaining about. Seventeen seventy six. I thought it was nineteen seventy six. That was a good guess. Um, <laughs> Just because of the fact that in the trailer there's like a T-shirt or something. <laughs> oh, I found the I found the protein. I think it was actually in seventeen seventy six, and I would think it would be hilarious. I think they should do it. <laughs> I don't know about that, it makes absolutely no sense. And the games, the, all the other games weren't such a lot fun. Ah, uh, Kelton's in there. He only has in the back of his head. <laughs> thing that makes him look like a monster. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a turn around. <laughs> 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 good, I'm as a currency you came up with to destabilize the market and like the establishment. But there's no establishment. He's a bit of a loon. <laughs> a loon? Well yeah, he's a bit of a monster, isn't he? I don't know what he is. He says he's obsessed with monsters, but I don't think he's actually a monster. Huh. Oh well, good thing is I have plenty of monster meat. That's good. <laughs> Only success in most of us. Raiders, 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 raiders. Including Dunral's form, lovely. And Farosh's scale.
Where did the raider go? <coughs> oh shit, there they are. Kill it. Guys, kill it. You have guns. That would be a good time to find out how much uh, we're willing to actually buy with money. Isn't it? Oh, this game really exists as ever. Elemental stimulation will change its form. I suppose that means it can turn into the other jellies if you use ice or fire. Using their power.
beep beeps are for the mystery man. No, I suppose it could be. If they haven't drinking enough potions, you wouldn't know. Them. Just on the theory, though.
It's cheaper actually. Um, but I found out how to convert jellies because I needed electric ones but I never collected them. Hmm. Um, you just zap them. What? So freeze them to turn them into ice jelly. Zap them or to turn them into electric jelly. That's pretty nice. And with that I do believe I can upgrade my shock resistant clothing. <laughs> I never wear it as it stands but I I knew that this would be a bit of a bit of a bit of a Cards around the course. Stop licking the cartridge, Mercy. Why not? It's not a good idea. <coughs> How come it's not a good idea? Because of the aftertaste. It doesn't taste that bad. It does with time. And depending on how much you actually lick, of course. <laughs> enjoying yourself there. Mario Kart! <laughs> oh, we're going to need those attachments. They're not in the case, they're below it.
two sports, two players at once. <coughs> Specialized to me, but one. Yeah. Oh well, we're having much. the same thing again. Have to use data. <laughs> Attention.
doesn't. It's just unfair. No one likes the blue shell. Makes sense. Except the person who's holding it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually played the older Game of Thrones. Anyway. The Lord of Time Zone. Excite Bike is, an, I think, an old NES game that controls it was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so <laughs> good. It was so good. <laughs>
going to play again with this one. I've got a 15 point lead over here. That's done. Should we switch games now? Yeah. All right.
Let's win the snipper clips. Oh, let's see. This is probably the best game to live stream, honestly. Why? I don't know, I just think it is. We have four controllers, or if we ended up just using two of them just this whole time anyway. Just because it's slightly more convenient. I swear these buttons are not getting loose. How do you play one again? Huh? How do you play one again? I don't know. Because I'm giving you that for some reason. Oh, yeah, she took my control. That'll explain it. I think. I'm not going to sit here. Well, the load times are so bad in this game today. Uh, it's, it's coming back. <laughs>
video on the side. No, no, so give no, me a moment no. to set it up. Okay. No, no. You don't have to play that game for just because you're going a second without playing it. What do you want to do? Island in the wilderness, Mystic Mountain. It's 27 minutes, Aski. Doesn't matter. Mystic Mountain then, but make sure to speed it up.
and I'd like to welcome you to the 29th Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to get your brushes and, and your paints and paint along with us each show. And if you've been with us before, please allow me to thank you for inviting us back for another series of painting shows. We'll use about a dozen colors of some unorthodox brushes in each show. I'll show you how to put some of nature masterpieces right here on the canvas. So I tell you what, let's get started. Today we'll have run all the colors across the screen right there that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I've got going up here. Today I'm using an 18 by 24 inch double prime pre-stretched canvas, but you use whatever size you'd like. And I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. The liquid white is designed just to make the canvas wet and and to make it slick, it allows us to actually blend color right here on the canvas. Makes your whole painting life a lot easier. So let's get started. I thought today we'd just do a very simple little scene that I hope you'll enjoy. Let's start with a little two inch brush and a touch of the alizarin crimson. And we just load a little bit right into the bristles. Pull a little paint out, tap the bristles firmly to assure a nice even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. And let's go right up here. We'll take this old brush and just making little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll just very quickly drop in just a little warm part in the sky here. Maybe we'll have a little pink in the sky. I sort of like that. And in our world, we can do anything that we want to do here. Any old thing. There. It won't take too long when you use the brush that's two inches wide. Okay, without even cleaning the brush. We'll go right in two, right in two, little phthalo blue. I like phthalo blue, it's a very warm blue, very nice. Once again, just tap a little color into it, and let's go back up here. And still using our little crisscross strokes, X's. That's all they are, little X's. We'll just apply a little bit of the phthalo blue, something about like so. Then we'll come back after we clean the brush and blend that down. Now the blue is many, many times stronger this little pink area, it'll just heat it up, so be careful, be careful, all the way. If you want to make the indication of a happy little cloud, all you do is just sort of tap, the little stringy cloud just moves right there in the brush, and that easy, we're blending out, have a little stringy cloud, there. Let's see, while we have that on there, let's have some water in this painter, I love water, and it's very easy to paint in this style. <laughs> Still water is always level. And I think they will have still water, so pull from the outside in. Outside in. Something about like so. Alright. I'll have a little brush going. I want to darken the corners a little bit. I'm going to take a little Prussian blue and just add in the corners here and there. A little bit up there. And we'll go over to the other side. And add a little more and then down to the bottom. We'll put a little down here too. I'm just putting a little Prussian blue in each corner to darken it. And then the most fun part of this little technique is washing the brushes. Since these are oil paints, we're washing the brushes with the odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess <laughs> and just beat the dust. That's really the most fun part of it. Now with a clean brush, and it's relatively dry, we're just beating it. We'll start in the light area, which is the pink, and we'll blend it all together. Something about like so. That's all there is to it. Okay, and down here we'll just do the same thing. There. But it's that easy. That easy. What's so fantastic about this is that anybody, anybody, had a little masterpiece on canvas with just a little bit of practice, a vision in your mind, and off you go. All right, that's working so well. Hmm. Take a little white, a little bit of the blue, and grab a little more of the titanium white. I want to make a light blue color here, mostly phthalo blue. And let's just tap a little color into the bristles. This little two-inch brush will be marvelous things. Watch out, watch out, watch out. It's fun. Let's take the corner of the brush and just pull down. Something about like so. Straight down, straight down. I'll make it look like little That's distant long. trees. Far oh, in the distance. A little more color. And we'll just have it. I don't know. Right there. In your world, you create any illusion that you want. There. But I want to keep the bottom light so it looks like mist. You could even take another two-inch brush. I have several. And tap it. 
really get in there and tap it and lift upward. It'll help create that illusion of mist right down at the bottom. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's a lot of fun to put several layers. It helps create depth in your painting. And for that, we'll add a little more blue, but we make it a little darker. We add a little bit of Prussian blue to it, make it a little darker, but the same thing. And we'll come back and let's put another little layer in here. Just touching and pulling downward. That's all we're doing. That's really all we're doing. Something about my cat. There. And we don't know where that goes. It doesn't matter at this point. And back to our other two inch brush. I will tap this. I want to create mist again. Notice the separation. It's caused because of the difference in color, difference in value. And that misty area turns out to be your very best friend. Take care of it. Treasure it. There. Okay. Let's have some more fun. Let's see. Let's take some black, some Prussian blue. And a little halo blue, it doesn't matter. We just throw it on the crimson too. What the heck? Be brave. Be brave. Ooh, and the sap green in there too. It's getting close enough, we should begin seeing some color. A little bit of white. Don't want it totally dark yet. There. Perfect. Can you white the old knife? And let's get this fan brush. We use a fan brush. Load it full of color. Both sides. Both sides. And maybe in our world, there it is, as well. Some little trees back in here. Now these are a little closer. You're seeing a little more detail, a little more distinct. Yeah. And I just drop them out. We don't know where to go. Wherever you want it. That's exactly, exactly where they should live. Don't put too much detail in here. It's too far away. You're not going to see a lot of detail. <laughs> See detail when it's very close to you. When things are far away, you make up form, shape, basic color. That's all. To save you detail to the foreground, the lack of detail helps also create that illusion of distance and depth in your painting. It's very, very important. Very important. Okay. We'll tap a little of that. That'll help create that illusion of mist down there too. Lightly up. Lightly. Just a little bit. See? Now then, you know when that's traditional painter, one of the hardest things to make effectively is reflections. Watch how easy. I'll take some of that same color. We'll take a two-inch brush touch and pull down. Just pull straight down. It's most important. We go straight down. Something like so. Straight down. Very lightly, go across. There. Instantly, we have some nice reflections. That's simple. Now, here's something that's funny. Take a little, I'll just use a little white. You're going to create another plane in your painting. Take a little white and lift upward. And it'll make little areas back here that looks like a whole different plane, and the white will end up looking like little trunks in those trees. There. Easy. Let's put a little water line there. Yeah, we'll use a liquid white. We got very flat, glad you can get it right across, okay? And we can go right up in here. And we can just drop in just a little water line. Just a happy little water line that's right in here somewhere. We don't know where it is. Including the way you can care. Just let your imagination take you anywhere you want to go. A lot of times I start a painting and have nothing in mind but the time of day and the time of year. in your body, or like a muscle in your body. The more you practice, the better it becomes. Take some black, fresh, and blue. I'm going to put some phthalo green in there. I like phthalo green. Maybe a little crimson. There we go. All right, let me wipe off the knife. I'll just wipe the knife on a little, little paper towel. And we'll just use that brush. A little fan brush. Load some color into it. Both sides of the brush. Both sides. Let's move in here. Let's have a, let's have a little evergreen tree. He lives right there. Just make a line, take the corner of the brush, make a touch. Make another one. 
I just try to work from the center. <laughs> there it goes. It's easier to do them fast than it is slow, though. Here they come. Just sort of back and forth. I had a lady in class one time, twins. It was like making Z's, the letter Z. She called them Z trees. So I guess that's as good of a analogy as I From the center out. The center of the tree should be the thickest, darkest, strongest part of the tree. Because you have leaves on the back, you have a trunk in the middle, and you have leaves on this side. I have one more here. There we go. I have a little family of trees. You know, if you've painted with me before, I think everybody should have a friend, even a tree. Even a tree needs a friend. Now, if you want to reflect those, just pop in some general indications of where they are. No big deal. We don't make mistakes here. We have happy accidents. Very quickly, you learn to work with anything that happens. Take a big brush, pull down, straight down. Nice. <laughs> and then go across. <laughs> Reflections. I just use that same fan brush. It has that color we made the tree out of it. And I go through cad yellow, and the yellow ochre. Immediately we have green. <laughs> Create any illusion that you want here. 
When I go home, the only power I have is over the garbage. I, I can take it to the street all by myself. But here, I can do anything. Absolutely anything. I decided I want to bush right there. And, tell you what. Let's get crazy. You know me. If you've painted with me before, I'll close and we'll just miss I like the gallery for a big trees, okay. and we have one living in our world. Can we stop for Bob? Right there. Now? That's what I'm looking at. There he comes. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> Alright, what should we show in the climate gallery? Um. Oh, that one's a Oh, you should show the. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> e. e. <laughs> the oddly satisfying about the old man looking incredibly intimidated by a bomb. <laughs> It had to be the last one for the day, I reckon. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, we're getting pretty far into the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my favourite game, by the way. <laughs> As if we couldn't tell. I love arms so fucking much! <laughs> Such a good game. <laughs> I'm gonna be bluey. Okay. I'm gonna be the greys. Okay. So. Can I connect first? Yeah. Yep. There we go. Those girls who want to stick with the more reliable one can probably set up, of course. I guess I'll do it if I get desperate. <laughs> yeah. It makes the game a lot easier uh, as far as I'm I know, but satisfying. I know, I know.
listen this time. Apparently this was level one. I don't remember that. We don't need to do anything that'll allow us to change. Your favorite. <laughs>
It's the same with all it's the same with all of them, not just uh your character. Jump and hold, okay. Jump and then hold dash. Okay, right. I usually find that jumping twice would do it. Oh, okay. <coughs> I just want a box. I don't really want to do any of this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I have no badges for doing really easy. to control her hair. <laughs> Is this for her mind? <laughs> yes, sir. I just want to unlock more of those weird poster things. Semi final now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
in every single in every single frame. There's a Lola fan. Yep. <laughs> and all that. In every single game you play, I think the fans change. Of course. I don't know. Which is pretty cool, I suppose. Max like winning. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you only touch these four games today. Um. There's Odyssey, Pokemon Quest, and Stardew Valley. And then the game that must not be named. Mario Odyssey? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, can we delete that already? <laughs> nah, I'm keeping it. It's alright. Why? I mean, there's no harm in it, really. Ugh. Everything about it. This is this game which I probably won't play again just because of the skill that's getting grindy. But it was pretty alright to start off with, and I mean, most people seem to hate the blocky style, but I don't mind it. I'm used to seeing that because it reminds me too much of Crossy Road. And I was fine with that game. Hmm. <laughs> Two controls is mandatory for, for this game. Yeah. 
time for it. But... interesting to start off with I suppose yeah. but I think we'll wrap up the stream there honestly okay. got plenty done now it's pretty late at night so we've got to set up bed and all of that 